Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Enter the Gungeon as the Paradox. What was the last run of Gungeon, I believe? If I'm not mistaken, wasn't it? Wasn't it just a, a hair, a breadth away? Yo, it's Junkman! <laughs> wasn't it a hair, a breadth away from a victory against the, the horribleness that is BCDD 20T? I feel like that was, in fact, what our last run was. I could be mistaken. Possibly mistaken. Probably mistaken. You never know, though. Um, but we start with freaking Junk Man on this one. That's insane. You love starting with a high quality item like Junk It. And you know what? This just incentivizes us to do all the floors and get all the junk. Now, the, uh, the real question is could we get Baby Good Mimic? Funnily enough, the answer is no. Because <laughs> we, if. If I'm not mistaken, if the last run was indeed the run in... Oh, it sees a junk. Man, he's getting really buff. I got all of these chests and keys, but I don't need them. It's enough. Could open this one in case it's a rainbow chest. Luckily, it wasn't, but... Come on, junk. 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 Yes, yes. Anyways, yeah, I think on the last run, we... Uh, we did the run where we... I almost made it to be BCDD 20T victory, and that was a run in which we had Baby Gun Mimic, because I remember having two blank familiars and they didn't work on the Lich fight. Uh, but, we don't need it. We don't need two Junkins. One Junkin is more than enough. All we need from this Junkin is him to be the best damn Junkin he could ever be for us. He will carry us to victory, I certainly hope. Dude, more chests, absolutely. I would say it would be nice if we could stop getting half red hearts out of these chests. That's like three junk down the drain. Come on, game. Come on. What are you doing? What are you doing to me, Junkin? What the heck? What the heck? Two Junkins is even better. I mean, maybe this will be the run where we get uh, Junkin plus gold junk. We've had. I think I've had that maybe twice ever. It's a pretty good combination if you can get it. Maybe this could be a no hit run, you never know, as I almost get hit by a standard basic bu basic ass bullet kid. Wow, we have four red hearts on this floor. Only one of them came as a floor drop. Too many red hearts game, too many red hearts, not enough chest junk drops. Hey Mud, hello, welcome, how you doing? And also hello to Cabbage Boxes, Manuke, Zero, and everyone else that I may have missed in chat. I see you all there. Oh no! We'll go fight the boss in a minute. I wanna keep exploring. I want more junk. More junk! I mean, you do have two junk already. That's pretty freaking good. I was thinking the other day, I, I was watching someone else play Gungeon another streamer, and I, I, I thought to myself, man, when they're when you're not in turbo mode, the game is really slow. <laughs> but then I realized it's been so long since I've actually played like a decent run of, of non-turbo mode. Turbo mode, dare I say it, might actually be easier than regular Gungeon. It's it's hard to, to really explain it, but some of the enemies have like significantly, significantly faster attacks in in uh, standard speed gungeon some of the enemy attacks are significantly slowed down in in turbo mode i don't know if it's a bug or balancing but i, I have to feel like it, it does make a small difference you know it does help if the enemies are, are firing bullets you know at a much slower pace than they otherwise would certain enemies are are more prone to this than others that was just a bad dodge roll but you know I gotta say, do you, th do you guys think turbo mode is easier or harder than, than regular mode? What would you guys think to a, a a modification, if you would, to Gungeon that made it so that turbo mode had all of the, the same like rate of fire from certain enemies from uh, as exists in non-turbo mode? Because there's, there's some enemies, like the, uh, the gummies, the enemies that summon the, the bullets out of the ground, the jam bullets. They're significantly harder in normal mode. 
Um, some bosses and mini bosses are significantly harder in normal mode. So there could be like a, a turbo mode plus sort of sort of dealy, a turbo mode that is actually significantly harder than harder than uh, than normal mode just by restoring all of the sort of attack rates of these enemies. And I've been I've been playing around with that idea in my head a little bit. I think it could be kind of interesting. Anyways, we are going to go down to the oubliette. Of course, I want as many pieces of trash as possible, and I got just the right place to go to find more of them. Uh, we are nearly out of ammo with the Phoenix, though, which is a, a damn shame, but hopefully we'll get more. Hopefully we'll get more. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get a little bit more. Trig Breaker says, I love watching other people play Gungeon. They're so young and naive. It's kind of that, and it's also kind of just like, you know, Gungeon on turbo mode, it's, it's a different beast. You know, you have to have faster reflexes, and I feel like you do have to uh, know enemy patterns significantly better, but in general, I think the actual dodging is slightly easier due to the fact that the enemies are, are oftentimes slower. It's very strange. And like, the, uh, this guy's stuck in a table. That's why his AI is so messed up. And there are certain, oh, nice. Certain, junkin'. Duncan, hold on, if, if I do this, maybe he'll, uh, yeah, okay, fix him. <laughs> There's certain indications that maybe these are actually bugs, because um, certain enemies in the game, if you freeze them and then they get, they get unfrozen, then they're turbo mode enemies who have the same attack rate of non-turbo mode. They actually have a buff if you freeze them and then unfreeze them. It's very strange, but I have to feel like that might be an indication that it's actually a bug making these enemies easier in turbo mode. Zane says, when I got turbo, it felt easier. For me, it's harder because I probably don't play on it, says Manuk. If you, you know, if you swap between turbo and non-turbo mode, sure, it's gonna be, it's gonna be difficult getting used to it, but I think in general, the turbo mode is just a little bit easier. That's my, that's my impression. I don't know if it's actually accurate or not, but it, it might be worth a, a look at some point. I think the TLDR is that I need to stop being so lazy, find some time to work on things like that. <laughs> Play around with Gungeon a little bit more. One day, one day, I won't be lazy. And actually get some work done for once. And feel like I have time to play around with personal projects. I'm not woe is me ing, -ing. I'm, just, I'm just saying. I'm lazy. <laughs> Yo, Junkin is, uh, he's getting strong. He's not quite at the level we want him to be at, though. I'm glad we have the Phoenix. It's at least something that's not the starting pistol. And I will use this gun for as long as is necessary. As long as is possible. What is with these chests? We're at less than 50% junk rate? Are you kidding me? Do I need to drop Junkin and then pick him up in order to actually get the proper junk rate or something? Like, what the heck? What the heck? I feel like I'm being cheated slightly. Where's my junk? It's almost like there should be an item in the game that guarantees junk when you break a chest. Oh wait, I thought that was Junkin! Except it doesn't actually guarantee it, obviously, because it's not guaranteeing it, but it just increases the, the odds ever in your favor, except not really. That room went better than it had any right to. I really expected myself to take some damage there. <laughs> Can we please have Abe sing a full song for as many channel points as he feels is necessary? What kind of a, a full song? The, the, the truth of the matter is I don't know that many songs. I'd have to look up lyrics for something or actually look up the uh, like jing the, the, the beat as well, you know what I mean? AB0020, thank you for the cheer. That's a lot of corgis. What is the difference between a piano, a fish, and a bathtub full of glue? I don't know. What is the difference? If you deign to to bestow this knowledge upon us, well, I was gonna say that should never have worked, and then by not taking damage, I re recalled. Oh wait a minute! I have contact immunity. There we go. 
No junk must be 99% of my robot runs, says Vernacula. That being said, this might be one of the uh, earliest full junkins since we got him literally on the first floor. You know, this guy is gonna get buff pretty quick. Sing the Gungeon OST. Uh, again, I'd have to look up the uh, actual lyrics to it. Maybe one day. You know what? There you go. AB0020, thank you for the cheer once again. And also, the answer is... You can tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish. What does the bathtub have to do with anything? I think you, I think you're, you're, you met, you mixed up multiple jokes. <laughs> you can't tune a bathtub full of fish either, or it's not actually full of fish. Hmm. Well, buy the key. I mean, we don't really have anything else to spend our money on. Let's be honest. Tuna glue? Yeah, you can't tune a glue either. See, that's what confused me, because I've, I've heard of the, the piano fish one before. I've never heard of piano, fish, and and glue. I was like, what? <laughs> I don't know. You've got me. Congratulations. Anyways, we love this gun. We know that this is our gun. Oh, it's so good. I knew you would get stuck in that. Well, then why'd you write it? <laughs> got him. We got a lot of keys. No good guns yet, that's fine. Um, I don't know, we'll use Gungeon Ant for the next floor, I suppose. Secret room before boss room, huh? This big room probably in the bottom left corner. We'll check it out. Yep, yeah, right there. Can't believe I didn't see that. And you know what, I'm, I'm glad that you mentioned this for Dacula because, honestly, I could use the ammo. I would, I would like the ammo, please. I want to use a gun that's not my starting pistol, please. Although, we'll probably do the, uh, the Gungeon Ant, too. I mean, we, we got a lot of fire on this run. Well, we got some fire on this run. It's hard to actually light this guy up. There we go. Yes. Light him up. I really don't like this gun. <laughs> when it's not in rocket launcher form, I think that um, Gungeon Ant is just horrendous. It's so hard to actually do anything with the gun. The fire doesn't really last that long when you hit an enemy with it. As a result, it uh, is difficult to hit him with the fire and then reload and hit him with the oil. You've got to like hit him with the oil first, but it, it still doesn't really work as well as you would like. Yo, do it, Junkin. Do it, Junkin! This one's all on you, buddy. Best use of 35 bits IMO. Well, I'm glad someone enjoyed it. Oh, hey -oh! I'll spend all my channel points of able sing Frank Sinatra. Again, I, I need to like, learn a Frank Sinatra song. I probably know some. I'm just like, who does this song? Frank a who? What? Was that just like a standard bulletkin firing a bullet at me? Please reload to the fire form. Thank you very much. I want this guy to burn. Um, come here, come here, come here. That's not where I wanted you to go. Luckily, he reloaded. Junkin, thank you very much, my friend. I freaking love Frank Sinatra says Jack Sturb. Hello, Jack Sturb, also. That's pretty good. No complaints here. I hate this gun in only a single way. It's, it's a lie how much ammo you have in it. <laughs> Because <laughs> you, you use si like six times the ammo whenever you shoot it. Excuse me. I want him. I got one. Let's go. Look at all the soul orbs on him. It's weird that those things don't disappear appropriately. All right, more junk. Junk for the junk god? What is with these chests, my dude? 
It's bonkers. It's bonkers. Oh, okay, well, we got another one. It's bonkers how many of these are exploding. All right, thank you. It's also bonkers how many chests we're getting, let's be honest. Excuse me. Y'all gonna burn? If you can get the oil on the ground, it's it's an all right gun, but getting the oil on the ground can sometimes be a pain in the butt. Got him, ladies and gentlemen. I will say, um, one of the just arguably good things, or inarguably good things about the gun is that it, what? Is that it does have good knockback. You're usually very happy to have that knockback. I will say though, that's a little bit BS. I call BS getting hit by that bullet. I was clearly dodge rolling into a wall. At least we're not getting good chests. Although if, if they would just not break once, that would be fantastic. If I could get a chest that didn't break, I would be loving life right now. Jesus. We've, we've, we have four junk, excluding real junkin, and we've broken like 10 chests on this run. That's a, a subpar payout if I've ever seen one. Let's keep going though, let's get another chest. This is the run of the most chests I've ever had and the least amount of items. The least to show for it, let's say. Because our, our item of choice is junk. That should hurt enemies. You know what? This is not the gun I wanted. Also not the gun I wanted. Come on game, you should know exactly what gun I want at this point. Yes! Yes! I feel like the chest will be green. It, it does seem to be green extremely frequently in that room, doesn't it? How often do you do that room and you get a green chest? It feels like it's, it's almost all but guaranteed, right? What do you choose to fight? Twins double speed and both are angered or jammed high priest. It depends, will I have to fight the twins where I normally fight the twins? Or can I fight the twins instead of the high priest? Yo, we have another chest on the floor too. That's insane. So I think that was the, the fifth chest we've seen on this floor, maybe the fourth? Maybe that's why we're getting, you know, low junk payouts. You can only get like three junk a floor. It's gotta, it's gotta save it up. You wanna see me break a rainbow chest for junk? And I would still open a rainbow chest. You know, I could, yeah, I could get really meme with it and break the chest. Oh, I'm so crazy. I get, I don't, GAF. Still gonna open it up. BDs, by the way, those are one of the enemies that are substantially more difficult in non-turbo mode, because in turbo mode they go, they shoot like at this pace, but in non-turbo mode they shoot like this. Now their bullets travel more slowly, but still. I will open this one. We got nothing good, but I would open it. I think special chests, red or above, Cinegrace chests, glitch chests, rainbow chests, you open those. Garbage chests, brown or below, as well, blue or below. F them, F them. Okay, I want you to be in the middle. That's pretty good. I gotta, I'm in a bad spot for you though. Actually do wanna go around you. Unfortunately, uh, blanks will destroy the soul orbs. So you've gotta kinda like, not blank when you're trying to get around to him. It's very strange, but maybe blanking doesn't destroy the soul orbs? I really thought it did. You know what? Maybe I'm just an idiot. You'd break a glitch chest, right? No, I'd still do it. The, th the, the secret is we're gonna get enough junk on the run. It doesn't matter how far we go or how many chests we have to blow up, we're gonna get enough junk, right? I accidentally walked to the right and bought a key. Well, that was dumb. 
Um, so I don't think we need to worry about that. Box is talking about Hades. When does that game come out of early access? I'm glad we got the siren here. I needed I needed another gun. It's almost like if I start opening some of these chests, I would already have some extra guns. You don't say, huh? Thank you, junk man. Blanks do destroy them, I maybe mean, not after the uh, enemy's dead. That's a good point. Because I could have sworn that the blanks destroyed them and then it didn't, and I'm like, well, maybe I'm wrong. But yeah. Maybe they do, in fact, break them, and it's just something that happens uh, in a fight. When you're out of, a, out of a fight, it doesn't matter. Can I walk over spider webs with this gun? I guess this gun makes you immune to all creep, not just poison, not just fire. You're, you're absolutely spanking immune to everything. That's cool. Excuse me. Good job, Junkin. If only could have killed him. He's doing a good job. He is. Okay, we need ammo. Ooh, what for? I'll take it for the Phoenix. Phoenix! I mean, it's like better than the starting pistol as a fallback, so there you go. Hello, Ajax the Bulwark. Hello, welcome. How you doing? What was Abe's starting stuff? I missed the beginning. I'll give you one guess as to what the starting stuff was. <laughs> I'll give you one guess as to what the starting stuff was. <laughs> Ajax says, just got back from the dog park. Fancy. Fancy. Okay, Water Gun does double damage against this guy, so he's not gonna live for too long. Whee! You gotta die, though. 63, I'll buy the Scouter. I got no problem with Yield Scouter. Super, super minor damage upgrade, who cares? It's a damage upgrade, dude. Got another key. Now, admittedly, we do have a lot of keys. We probably don't need these keys. Probably haven't needed to buy, to buy any keys at all on the run, and I probably bought like at least three, which uh, at this point is a little bit silly, perhaps. But uh, you know what? You never know when you're gonna need another key. Oh my freaking God, man. Can I just get some more junk, please? Like, one day I would like some more junk. That would be something that I would I would very much enjoy on this run. This is the least amount of junk I've had on a Junkin run, I feel like. <laughs> when, when we've had Junkin so early. And just like, please game more junk! Please, Gungeon, may I have some more junk? No, 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 no! Please, Gungeon. Okay, now we'll take it for the Siren. I will take junk, and I will also take the uh, synergies with High Caliber to turn it into just like the world's best boss killing gun. What is it? Uh, we, need, we need Helix Bullets? And the the cup, the Holy Grail. Oh my God! Can I like? I don't know if you'd consider this good luck or bad luck, you know? <laughs> so we're gonna have to fight the boss to get three credits, but whatever. All right, let's go fight the boss. It's not quite a starting pistol only run, but you know, with the amount of items we have, it kind of is. We're getting there. 
I think I will uh, very quickly do this. Just wanted to get in there and get like a, a couple of these orbs. It is worth grabbing them because they do bypass the uh, the damage cap on bosses. Although it, they're not working. I mean, the gun itself also does a pretty decent amount of damage, but you want to get yeah, get up here and grab them. I think that I think they're not working. I keep running into the orbs and they don't do any damage. What's up with that? Brown deer from a green chest, what a deal, exactly. What a steal, what a deal. What a steal, what a deal, what a deal, what a mighty fine steal. What a steal, what a steal, what a steal, what a, steal, what a mighty fine steal. Hey dude, thanks much. Thank you too, brother. Thank you too. I've got a cactus, I've got a siren, what gun am I gonna use? I mean, I think you just gotta use the siren, because I think it's better, but... The Cactus is a good sort of alternative gun. It's a good long range gun. It's not good. It's never going to be our sniper cho uh, weapon of choice in Warzone, but you know what? It doesn't have to be. It's just got to be a gun that does damage and shoots things. And even if it doesn't fire oranges, and even though it doesn't fire cactus fruit, I keep, I keep thinking you can make the cactus fire oranges. That's not true. What you can do... Nice little time slow down there. What you can do is you can make the AK-47 fire oranges, and I think orange is also a synergy item for the cactus. I think that's what it is. But my brain can never tell the two apart. I keep conflating the two synergies and being like, yes, it synergizes with everything. No! Not all guns share the same synergy, Abe. So by the way, the word says they still got finished gun, or unfinished gun, even though they had finished gun unlocked, they got it from a boss reward. I think, yeah, I think that's one of the ways that you can still get unfinished gun. Boss reward, gunsling king, um, blessed mode, you can probably still get unfinished gun as your, uh, your paradox start, although I don't think I've ever gotten it, but then again, you know, maybe we just haven't thrown enough runs at the RNG system. Um, but yeah, if it comes out of a chest, unfinished gun turns into finished gun. I, I know that one for a fact. By the way, you guys can't even hurt me. Let's stop wasting our shots. Man, those gummies, you know, they're another one of those enemies that is extremely difficult in standard non-Turbo Gungeon. Because in Turbo Gungeon, I mean, they're still difficult in Turbo Gungeon, but in, in Turbo Gungeon, they fire like at this speed. In non-Turbo Gungeon, they basically fire like this. So, you gotta, you gotta count your blessings where you can in, in Enter the Gungeon. There's one of your blessings right there. Gummies are significantly easier in Turbo Mode. <laughs> but I, I gotta wonder, you know, for people who, uh, who, who p don't play a lot of Gungeon, maybe the people who are playing standard non-Turbo have a, a little bit of a harder time with things. Maybe I got it easy. Maybe... Maybe Turbo Mode has made me soft on the inside. Soft and doughy. Like a doughboy. <laughs> Get out of here. I would very much appreciate these guys not trying to run into me, into me. I am trying to completely ignore them, though. Since they can't actually hurt me. Is there a finished gun in Exit the Gungeon? No, but... Oh my god, these chests. Um... Exit the Gungeon, it did get an update, or it's, it got a beta update. And they also said that they were going to add in new guns at some point. So if they add in new guns, maybe they'd add in a finished gun or an unfinished gun or something, you know? I guess unfinished gun probably are, already exists, but whatever. You know what? I'm not going to say... Oh, we only do 9 damage on a dodge roll? That doesn't seem like that much. I was gonna say, maybe we're, we're better off just dodge rolling into some of these enemies. Nah, shoot him. King Pro, hello, welcome. Is this a mode for seeing mobs HP? Nope, it is a scouter. One level of curse, you see HP, and you also deal like, what is it, 10% more damage? Aww, you suck, 
So you sucked up my own bullet! I think it's like 10% of a damage upgrade, which is still pretty good. I'll take any damage upgrade in Gungeon where I can get it. I think your aim is true. I think my aim is true enough. Last time we did this, I think we only got like three of the payouts, but we'll, we'll do a, a better job this time. Yoink. This is a tricky one, please land. Sometimes I feel like that one misses and I don't understand why. Excellent, excellent. Now we're not gonna break this chest. I can't break every chest searching for junkin, okay? At some point we gotta say to ourselves, you know what, this is worth opening. This is worth opening. Hey, Fredacula, weird lag again? Well, my internet is back, so it's not that being a problem. Probably don't need to just use Particulator, but it's a fun gun. <laughs> Especially when you get it in uh, like a rainbow mode run or something, you get just infinite ammo for it. Oh baby, oh baby, one more. One more junk and we got max junkin. Now we have to we have to ask ourselves a question. What type of a junkin do we want? Do we want the damage junkin or do we want the blank junkin? Because we do have an amulet. It's the stun amulet. So enemies will get stunned whenever Junkin blanks. So we might prefer this version of Junkin, but we could also get one deeper and get Super Junkin. I think we gotta do regular. I, gotta, I think we gotta do Super Junkin. Archangel Junkin. Kill my enemies for me, Junkman. Do my bidding. I would like at some point to, uh, you know, get the synergy for uh, this that I've been looking for. I'm gonna have to go to the other side when I can and pick up these uh, soul orbs. No! Oh, I don't take contact damage. Thank God for that. Dude, the junk blank is so good. What happened to all my orbs? Did, did Junk Blank destroy my orbs? I've never been saltier. Wait, there's a Blank Junkin? Yeah, second highest level when he gets the, the white outfit. That's Blank Junkin. Every once in a while, he'll Blank. It's not like a true Blank. It's not a player Blank. It's a mini Blank, but still. But still. Did we get ammo? We got ammo, so let's go for Siren or Particulator, doesn't really matter which one we get it for. We got a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton. We have nine keys, Are you kidding me? How do we have so many keys? I hate this game sometimes. <laughs> you give me a run like this, you give me a million damn keys. You don't give me any junk out of chests. Well, you know what? We're almost on the forge and I don't even have max level junkin. What are you doing to me, game? What are you doing? I'm going a little bit hard on, on cash here. I think it's worth it. I think. Oh, I think it's worth it. You have so many keys because you're busted. Bustin makes me key good? I don't know, that doesn't really work. Bustin makes me key good. What? I do have a lot of keys. I don't think it's related to me busting, though. Just need one more chest. Just one more! One more junk payout! You know what? Eat it. Thank you, Junk Man. That was a very strange blank. I appreciate your work, though. You, you tried, which is the most important thing. Well, you know what? If I'm a little delayed, we'll just make it work. You got him? You got him? You got him? You got him. He does 13 damage on a hit. That's pretty good for a Junk Man. RNG department? You know my opinion on RNG. 
there's a little bit more to it, maybe. Should probably be using the siren here. If we uh, walk into some, some Garbo. Spider silk, we would like to not be slowed down by it. Dun, 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 dun. Thank you, junk man. He didn't junk this enemy because uh, blanks technically do have a range to them, but he got close enough. He stunned the annoying enemies. Now these boys, these are another, another of the truly heinous enemies in non-turbo mode. They fire so quickly. Yeah, thanks, Articulator. I'm really happy that you decided to attack Death, who can't even get hit and take damage. That's fantastic. Bouncy bullets, yes. That's a great upgrade. P. Pella, welcome, how you doing? You're finally here to watch Abe play the gun game. Oh baby, oh baby. You missed a great start to the run. You missed my internet crapping out halfway into the run. But you're here for the mighty, the mighty conclusion. Can we get another piece of junk for the junk man? And Peep, thank you very much for the resub, Pog. I'm always Pogged for a sub. Sandwich, yuck, 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 yuck. That would be kind of tasty right about now. I will need to eat dinner at some point today, like everyone else. Thank you, Junkman. He's so good at his blanking, that's the thing. He stuns enemies for so long with that blank. I kind of don't want to get rid of him, but I also want the, I want to see him kill. I want to see him turn into death, destroyer of worlds. Death Destroyer of Dragons and Junk. Please, I'm, I'm kind of stuck there right now. I gotta kill you. You know what? Really, that didn't kill you? That killed you. Weird back shot did it. Siren does kind of start showing its age a little bit on this floor. It's taking like two bullets to kill a standard bulletkin, but you know what? I think it's still good enough. We got a little bit of extra damage from Junk Man too. He's helping out. We've done it. We got him, ladies and gentlemen. It only took the entire run, including the oubliette. <laughs> we finally have enough junk. Hallelujah! There he goes. Oh baby, that's what I need. A little bit more damage. I mean, I, I sacrificed a lot for this junk man, so I kinda do need his damage output, I feel. Do you think an accuracy upgrade helps junk man? Cause he's, he's a little inaccurate on his shots, let's be honest. I've seen more accurate shots coming out of the claw. You know what I mean? You wanna know one of my favorite things about turbo mode? Trap rooms are much easier to deal with. You can just run through the trap room, essentially. <laughs> I love that. I love not having to worry about falling into a, a, a bike trap or pit trap or hitting a rolling log or something. It's fantastic. All right, this fight is gonna suck. I think because we have Junkin, we just kind of rely on Junkin. I don't really want to use the um, the high caliber gun. It does good damage, but I, I will never be able to grab the orbs. So I'm kind of of the opinion that maybe we should you know, just use a gun like this, something that we're probably never gonna use for uh, for rooms. We're gonna be using this for the dragon fight and probably for the second phase of the Lich, and that's it. I mean, you can see the difference in damage. I do seven per, per bolt. Junkin does 10 per 
I don't know, magical m missile spell? Magic missile, magic missile! Maybe Junkin is just a DND player and, you know, the power of the Gungeon has made his dreams come to life. Helps if you could actually aim at the heart, though. Lady Era, hello, welcome. Slower day at works. So you're happy. Nice. It's I'm always happy when I have slow days. Whether it's a slow stream day, don't have a lot of editing to do, anything of that nature. You know what? It's always nice to have a, an easy day. Go home early. Make love to your wife. Order a pizza. Oh, I gotta sneeze. The mute button worked! Woo! And we got our HP upgrade. Um, there's actually a couple of things I guess we could buy from Goop, Goop Man. If we really wanted to, we could get Monster Blood. Uh, can't actually afford the Plague Pistol. Why even buy the HP? I don't know, why not? It's something, it's it's an item, it's a thing. You know me, I like things. I don't have many things. I got my computer. I got my couch, I got my bed. I got my closet. I got a dresser, some posters. I don't have a lot of things, though. I don't accumulate things. Everything I own can fit in, in the current room that I am I am in right now. I don't know how I would get my, my bike in here, but if it could fit in here, it would. I know people who are, are thing collectors. They, they have a, a way too many things. They take up way too much space. That's very annoying. It's like you don't need this much space. You're making it. You're 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 accumulating too much stuff in your life, and you're in the way. Simplify your life. Peep, thank you for the cheer. Did another ad watch thing? You watch those ads. You watch them, and you'll like them. By the way, I, I, I know I need to add in channel point stuff. I'll do it. Just keep forgetting. For the people asking, it'll happen. Manuk. Really just need to be uh, reminded on like a Wednesday when I have nothing else to do on that day. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, let's keep going. Uh oh You know what? I'm out of here. Thank you. We got the siren. We don't take fall damage. Woo! Isn't that just a hoarder? Well, no, because hoarding is like very specifically they accumulate like their own feces in jugs. You know, that's that's hoarding. I'm just talking about people who just have too much stuff. Like you don't need all these papers from like 10 years ago. You can probably throw this stuff out. No one's gonna come asking you for a book report you did in the eighth grade. If you wanna keep it, digitize it. Got him. Man, Junkin's so good. Mm. You know, I'll take Siren Ammo. We'll we'll try to use some some more Particulator though. It's hard to use a Particulator without having a, a reload up though, because it does take a billion years to reload. That's why I just fire it once and I swap back to it later, because uh, passive reloading is a thing. The gun will occasionally reload when it's in your back pocket, and then you can just get some free shots out of it that way. Whoops. How many bits are needed to play and win BCDD20T? Um, if you give me a billion bits, 
I will play until I win. If you give me a million bits, I'll, I'll play once. And it might not be a win. I don't think I've ever seen an Abe run with shitty items all the way around, says Dr. Game Geek. That's why one day, I'm gonna do a uh, pilot pistol only run and win. And that'll be my greatest accomplishment in the Gungeon. Although, Wallmonger is, is an asterisk. And also, the fun of the run is another asterisk, because it probably won't be that fun. But it'll still be an accomplishment nonetheless. It's like doing the uh, the expert challenges in, in Monster Train. Yeah, extra pain train kind of sucks, but you just gotta do it just to get the, get the achievements, to get the unlocks. Yeah, nobody likes round and round, but it doesn't matter. You still need to do it anyways. I give you bits, you should pet the dog. We all know how the dog gets his pets. It, he has to give me items first. All right, so we got some items. We got some guns. I think we'll start with high caliber. We'll put the uh, the orbs on one side and then we'll, we'll loop around in a minute to grab them. I mean, the gun still does a decent amount of damage. And then we'll just do this, and this, and this, and this, and he's already toasted. You love to see it. Fantastic. AB0020 says, I had chicken nuggets today. I haven't had chicken nuggets in years. Not even from like a fast food place, not by making it. Nobody makes chicken nuggets anymore. But also, chicken nuggets are not that good. <laughs> Okay, almost lagged me into the bullet, but it didn't. This is good lich practice, you know what I mean? Peep, thank you for the five bits. This should be close enough to one billion. It's 20 of them. Well, we'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling after uh, we beat the lich here without getting hit. And hopefully by uh, just doing massive damage to him like this. Run! I want my shot to bounce. I I bought those bouncy bullets, damn it. I'm gonna take advantage of them. Anyways, good run. <laughs> we got super junkin'. It took us uh, way, way, way longer than expected to get him there. Here I was thinking, you know, when we started the run, it's gonna be the fastest junkin' ever. We got so many chests. Boo. Boo! They all exploded and gave me HP. Ugh. Annoying, but at least we got it. Anyways, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoy it, subscribe for more, check me out on Twitch if I want to go live, support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs. I'm Junkman! And I'll see you here again for the next run of Enter the Gungeon.